Chapter 4, Three Dragons. Seconds later, Dragon Worm appeared in the training room in King Roland Castle. Rory, Anna, and Bo ran out of the Dragon Master's craft room. Drake smiled when he saw his friends. Bo hugged Drake. I'm glad you are safe, he said. Thank you, Greg replied. But Mina and Casper and their dragons. The wizard will help them, Rory said. What we need to do stop do is stop Ostrid. Anna grabbed Drake's hand. We have a plan. Come into the classroom. Drake turned to her. Wait here, he said. And he followed the dragon masters. Griffith, the wizard who trained Drake and his friends, were sit on at a table. Eko, a dragon mage, stood beside him. Oh, Drake, Griffith said, come see what Anna has found. There is a way to re reverse the false life spell. Anna picked up a scroll. I found this on the library in the dragon temple, she said. She t tapped the picture of a stone. There is kind of a stone called Tiny Box or Brax. It can reverse the false life spell if you combine it with the powers of three special dragons. She unrolled the scroll. First, a lava dragon melts the stone. Then, a sea dragon calls it. Finally, a wind dragon blew on the stone and transform into a box. The box holds the magic that can break the false life spell. Where do we find those three dragons? Drake asked. I don't even know what lava is. Ribbeth picked up a red book. Lava is high flowing rock. A wizard named Shul Julia wrote this book about fire dragons. She said the lava dragon is a type of fire dragon. He said, fire dragons are the best, said Rory. A dragon Vulcan was a fire dragon. The wizard pointed at another book. It flowed over to him. The pages flipped magically and landed on the picture of a group of Iceland islands on the ocean. There were once lava dragons here on the uh, islands of Noah, Griffith said. They once were there? Drake asked. Does that mean they're not there now? I'm not sure, but we must start our search there, Griffith replied. Worm and Drake must go. Because the islands are far away, and leave your sword behind, Rick, so the Islanders know you are friendly. Right, Rick said, and he re removed his silver sword from his belt. Anna, you are good to meeting new people. I would like you and Capri to go with Rick, Griffith said. I'll get Capri, Anna cried, running out of the classroom. What about me? Rory asked. I need you to get us. Get a Ten breaks. Ten breaks stone, Rory said. My wizard name. Jilvi has won. She lives in King Lair's castle in Gallia. You and Vulcan will fly there. I. Counting you on you to convince her to give it up. I will let you down, Rory promised. Bo can stay here with me and Eco, Griffith continued. We'll try to learn more about the sea dragon and the wind dragon. Bo picked up a book. I'm on it, he said. Greg looked at Griffith. What if Anna and I don't find the lava dragon, he asked. This is our only lead, Griffith said. I know you will do your best, Drake. Drake ran back to the training room. Anna and Capri were there. The white scale of the sun dragon glittered the torchlight. Anna put
put one hand in Capri and one hand, one on Worm. Ready, Drake? She said. Drake touched Worm. Take us to the island of Noah.